Hello, Shoestring here. So I've got another inexpensive battery from oh, in the manual right up front. Just opened it, said, I'm going to pronounce that Go Kilowatt because I've heard other people say it, but I'm really not sure how to pronounce it. And we did get an owner's manual, and the manual is in English, which is good because you don't always get these in English have some M8 bolts here, which we'll check into in just a moment. And let's see what we have here. Anytime it's hard to get out, it is packed fairly well. All right, I got that apart. That was a pain, which is good. It means it was packed really well. It was hard to get out of the box. And then... It was in foam, really tight, so that's good. So besides the bolt, the only other thing you didn't see is I have this paper here. It appears to be a scan of some type. What do we have here? We have our normal... Well, one thing that's different than the other batteries I've done is this one has some type of battery monitor. We're going to have to look at the manual and see how this works. Okay, it says it's 13.2, but I will check that out and see. All right, so 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour, LiPo 4, lithium, okay? Another go, well, it has a strap, not a handle, and made in China, just the normal things. I'm going to go through, we're going to charge this up, then we're going to go through the manual, and we're going to test it out for you, and we're going to see how well this one works. So, I've started charging the battery up. I wanted to give you a look of what the LED but it gives our volts a percentage. We're going to test that and see if that's actually right. Current temperature and the current. So, besides showing you this, which is the LED, and it shows you the battery status, I also wanted to show you one of the reasons I decided to select this battery as a good choice for shoestring because for its price point it actually has a bluetooth compatibility you can get an app on your phone which i'm about to show you right here you can pull up the app it will connect to this device right there now you can get the app it's in the manual how to go type it in on your phone, or you can use the little scan. But it's interesting that at this price point, they will have an app that you can monitor the battery from the phone. It's the first one I've seen at this price. So that's very, very interesting. It shows you what the total 100% because it's more than 13.4, but it says it's 13.6, and it is still charging right now. And you can do a lot of different things with this app. Watch the history of it. There won't be much, of course, because I've just got the battery. And for those wondering, no, I'm not being paid to do this video. It's pretty interesting what the app can and can't do. I haven't been all the way through it yet. But I wanted to point, one of the reasons, like I said, I wanted to do this video for these batteries, specifically this one, is because it is a smart battery and it has an app that you can sit in your house and monitor the battery. Very cool. So if you're interested in something like that, you may want to check this battery out. Now, this company makes quite a few batteries. So what you'll want to do is make sure you specifically pick this one. This is a smart one. There are other ones that have other type of monitors up here, ways to set it, and all different types. So I'm going to give you a link at the bottom in the description about how to get specifically to this battery. And after I talked with the company, I'm going to give a code at the bottom the description, which you can see, that will get you $60 off this battery if you use this link. Okay? And I think it's only good for two months or so. This is no the end of November 23, so 
we'll say up to January 24, the code will probably be good. But if you're interested, take a look and see what you think. Now, what I'm going to do, of course, I wanted to make sure I mentioned the app. That was important. Then I'm going to test it the way it once it gets all the charged up. I'm going to test it the way I normally test batteries and let you know the result. And we'll do a roundup. So please stay to the end and I'll see you then. All right, the battery's all charged. We have let it sit for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And we're go about to begin our test to see if it actually has the 100 amp hours. I've already tested it on the computer, but those who've watched my channel before uh, know that I like to test it real world, normally with heaters or fans. I already had this hook up from another test, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. It's two fans. I'll turn it on, and it'll get us up to a 100 amp and see how well this pulls it. All right, so a few thing about this uh, battery, if I haven't mentioned it already. And it says it has 4,000 cycles, which if you take 4,000, divide it by 365. If you drained it and brought charged it back up every day, that would last for about 11 years. So that's pretty good. Its dimensions, which I'm going to try to put up on the screen as well, is... 7.28 by 13.19 by 8.6. And it's right around 24 pounds when I weighed it. It has this nice battery monitor right there, which I'm about to turn on the inverter now. 13.4. Okay, not bad. What does the monitor say? Let it come up to speed. 13.5. Okay, pretty close, pretty close. This is a cheap, by the way, a uh, Chinese inverter. So, uh, not sure how accurate it actually is. Let's go ahead and put our fans on. Make sure they're both on full power. Let's check our watts. And we are at 104 watts, which is good. And we'll be keeping an eye on our kilowatts as well. All right. And uh, our test has begun. I will come check it every so often. And I'm also going to match it, by the way, with the uh, a Bluetooth app, which, like I showed you before, is really nice for a battery at this price level. So if it will pull the power it's supposed to pull, this will be a really nice battery to get. So we'll take a look at it. We'll come back in about 10, 12 hours and make sure it's still running and see how we are looking. See y'all then. All right, so it has gone 12 hours and 32 minutes, which means it went much farther than its capability actually says it should. So that's really good. The battery has passed the computer test and it passed our test right here. The inverter had stopped it at 10.6. So that's interesting. Let's see what the monitor says on top. It says 10.7. So that's also very good. And we're down at the bottom of capability with the little orange line that's left. There's still a little in there, but probably not very much. All right, so that's our test. It worked really, really well. Let's go ahead and turn it off. I will now charge it back up. This uh, monitor here on top, also from my testing, is accurate and telling you what the voltage is of the battery. So, yes, from my looking at it at the moment, I would recommend this for people that want to spend a little bit more. Now, there are cheaper ones out there. And also, don't forget on this battery, there is a code down that I'll put in the description that if you use, you will get about $60 off this battery, which is a really great deal. This is a decent battery for a decent price if you want the capability to go to an app and monitor it. So, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, and 
shoestring out.